Hey guys, it's Vinny again. I just wanted to say this just before I go to bed. I got the news that Rick Welts, the longtime team president of the Golden State Warriors, will be retiring at the end of this year. And I gotta say, what a career. This man has done so much in his 50 plus years of being a part of the National Basketball Association. Ever since he came out of Washington University from Seattle and worked for the Supersonics from a ball boy to one of their head marketers, winning a championship in 1979, he just continued to do even better. Then he became a part of the NBA's um, uh, marketing team, I believe. He, he was the person that created All-Star Weekend. So everything you see from all the, from like the dunk contests and the three point contest, all that stuff is because of him. He is the man that is responsible for making the All-Star Game itself a big, big event that all basketball fans and NBA fans can enjoy and have been enjoying for 40 years. It's all because of this man. And he was also the head marketer of USA Basketball. The dream team, 92, the marketing, that's all him. He was the person responsible for all this stuff. And, you know, he became the third highest league official from the 90s. Like, this guy was outstanding. And then he decided to become the CEO of the Phoenix Suns from 02 to 11. And there, even though they never won a championship, they would go to several conference finals. You had Steve Nash, Shaquille O'Neal, Sean Marion, um, Maurice Stoudemire, some legendary players there. He really helped bring him in. He, it was under his, and then he became the CEO and team president of the Warriors. And under this role, the Warriors would become the dynasty of the 2010s. Five straight championships. The only other team, no, no, sorry. Five straight championship appearances. The only other team to do that was the Celtics of the, of the Red Auerbach days and Bill Russell and John Havlicek and so many others. It was a team that he helped construct and build. And, like, I would say this guy should be in the Hall of Fame, but he's already there already. But surprisingly, despite all this accolades for what he did for the game itself, helped making it grow, helped marketing the game, beat every aspect of the game and winning championships, the guy will, in my opinion, his biggest achievement being just a trailblazer himself. For those that don't know, Rick Wilts is a homosexual. He came out as gay 10 years ago. He said that his first ever partner he ever had, he died of AIDS in the early 90s. And, you know, he also had a relationship, but he couldn't really say it because the laws at that time, it forbid him to really even mention it. I mean, he's married now. He married his longtime partner in 2020, and he's been a part of several um, organizations advocating for the success and the inclusion of homosexuals and gays and lesbians into sports. And you look at the WNBA as a result, it's you have Sue Bird, Deanna Tarazi, you have notable lesbian players that have been happening. You've seen more gay players come out. And Rick Wells, he's a person that is responsible for this pioneer. He's a trailblazer. He's made it comfortable for a lot of these people to come out. Like, like Jerry Smith for the Reds, for the Reds, sorry, for, for, for Washington many years ago. Like, it turns out he was gay. He died of AIDS, but, you know, we didn't know about that. And and you look back at now, like, he was a legend in his own right, and he should be in the Hall of Fame. But Rick Welts, not only was he a trailblazing pioneer, but this guy was just damn good at his job. And he was better than everyone else at it. He knew how to market. He knew how to draft. He knew how to promote. The guy could do it all. and It's not bad. And you've been seeing so many of these wonderful people that have done everything despite their limitation. And that shows you Rick Welts will forever, forever and always not just be a hero for for the for the Bay Area or for Seattle or even for the NBA. He'll be a hero to the millions of people around the world and proves to them that you could be in sports if you're homeless if you're gay. We, we are welcoming you. We accept you. You are a part of us. 
you are just as human as you and you are just as human as me and you can't make the choices it's what you are you're allowed to be that way you deserve just as many rights as me i i've always been a big proponent of that same thing with the inclusion of african americans and other minorities and their inclusion of women life is a slow progress and it's not going to happen overnight but eventually your time will come and that happened with rick wiltz he was a pioneer he was a trailblazer he was a marketer he was a winner and most importantly he was damn good at his job he was damn good at his job and he didn't let anything that was different about him compared to others hold him back he fought hard it was very long it might have been tough and a lot of heartache but at the end of the day for all that pain and suffering at the end of the day he ended up being the guy on top and all the doubters that question him he's in laughing all his way to the hall of fame he is, he's done so much that he made it before the man retired that tells you how impactful this guy was on the sport truly a legend truly an icon on behalf of the many straight people and saying it for all my i'm an ally of the lgbt community on behalf of the many allies of the LGBT community, I want to say thank you so much, Rick, for everything that you have done for that community. They couldn't, they could, you, you have mean so much for them. You've mean, you have meant so much to the sport the last 50 years. And the sport would not be what it is if it was not for you. And I got to say thank you. Thank you so much for everything you have done. You have made Sonics fans happy. In the 70s, you have made many Olympic fans happy. You made many Suns fans happy. You have made many Warriors fans happy. You have made many NBA fans happy. You made many basketball fans happy. And most importantly of all, you made the LGBT community happy. And as a result, you have made the world a better place, Rick. Thank you so much for everything you have done. And I cannot thank you enough. And I want to just say thank you so much. I just can't thank you enough for what you've meant for the area of the Bay Area. In a very liberal area, yes, but at the same time, it's very accepting. And it only felt right that the place that had the very first, you know, notably LGBT elected official in Harvey Milk would accept you as part of them. And I'm very, very happy. I'm very, I just can't, I can't say enough thank you for everything. You meant so much to so many people. And from the bottom of my heart, for even Warriors fans, they're never gonna forget you. You will always be a legend of them. Take care, Rick. I just, sorry, I might have lost for words. It's late, but at the same time, like, I just can't say enough how much this guy meant to so many people. Truly is remarkable. It's a great story. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have, please hit the subscribe button down below for Zenny62. Put the notification bell if you haven't already so that way you can get notified earlier for new videos. Also, make sure to check Oakland News Now for more vlogs and blogs and more um, posts. And thanks a lot, everyone, for watching. Uh, have a good night. Thanks.